Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make beer can burgers and french fries on the Traeger. Stay tuned. Okie doke, let's get started. Got me uh, two pounds of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. I'm gonna go ahead and get these mixed together with some of my buddies over here. My standard Stegner seasoning, white lightning, and garlic powder. We're gonna go ahead and put those in there, get our patties made, and we'll start the process. Stay tuned. Okay, let's go ahead and get these things seasoned. We're gonna start with our Stegner steak seasoning. I have my lovely assistant helping me today, so. Give her a round of applause in the comments below. Yep, go ahead and just shake it across the top like that. There you go. And then we're moving on to our white lightning seasoning. There you go. Just give that a good shake across the top like that. A little more. There you go. Add your garlic powder. Always a staple. A little bit more, a little bit more. There you go, garlic's good. And we're gonna end off with our soy sauce. There you go, good job. Give that a good shake across the top. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and knead all this stuff together. Go ahead and get it all pushed together real good, yep. Make sure you pick it, pull it apart, flip it around. Yep, keep on going. Yep, just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and get that, that pork good and mixed in with that beef. And we'll go ahead and make some palm-sized meatballs, basically. And then we'll go on from there. So we're gonna get this stuff mixed up and get a couple of these ready to go. Be right back. So the other portion of the cook today is going to be these potatoes that we've cut in a steak fry form. And then you go ahead and throw some olive oil on top of there and then shake. I did garlic, salt, pepper, and a little bit of our steak seasoning as well, just to give them a little bit of that that you need. And we have the grill at 375. We're cooking with oak chips today. And we'll go ahead and get these fries on uh, shortly after we get done with the burger. So what you're going to want to do, take your mix and make them about the size of your palm. Now, I got pretty big hands, but you want a, a pretty big meatball. And it's going to have to go around this can. So I'm going to go ahead and take a big bunch, making a good snowball. Pop it in the middle like that. Take your beer can and gently push down and then start building up the sides. Build up the sides like that, keep going. Kind of work it up that beer can. Then hold on to the meat as you twist a little bit, get the beer can out of there. And you're gonna take your finger and push down inside of here and make yourself a good cup. Because the whole point be able to stuff this cup with all the love that we want on our burgers. Well, there we go. I'll go ahead and add a photo right about now. All right, as you can see, we have our patties all made here with our beer can holes and our spots for that love to sit in. Let's move on. So today we're gonna stuff them with a little bit of cheese and then we just have some sauteed onion, green pepper, a little bit of garlic in there. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. So I start by taking just some shredded cheese and putting them in the bottom of the bowls. Gives you that little surprise at the bottom. Just keep moving on like that. Do a little bang like that. All right. 
Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, put some in there like that, push it down. We're gonna top it off with a piece of cheese on top. So I gotta make sure I, I don't overstuff them and don't leave room for that. Couple more for this one. Come on, come on, get in the bottom of that bowl. There we go. So as you can see, we have our cups all set up right like this. And the next step I'm going to do is take this here bike and we're gonna wrap it around these burgers. Man, it's gonna be so good. All right, let's do some bacon. Go ahead and wrap it around, and since it's still soft meat uncooked, you can push it in a little bit. Push it in a little bit to that meat, and that'll make it stay. See, I don't have to have a toothpick. It just stays around there because you just push it into the meat a little bit. I like that. Do one more here. It's like a little, like a little bacon coat. A little bacon coat for the burgers. This, this stuff's getting cold. So we gotta wrap it up. A little bit of bacon as a coat. Could be a bacon scarf. Uh, if I was putting bacon over the top, then it would be the bacon mask. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm gonna finish these up and then we'll go ahead and get the cheese put on. Be right back. Okay, I got my assistant here. She's gonna go ahead and put the cheese on top as the cap. Yep, just lay them over top like that. Perfect. There we go. Dad, we don't have enough cheese. Well, in that case, let's just, we got more of that cheddar jack. Let's use that. And I think we have some more in the house. So if you even run out of that, we can get more. But just fill the top of those cups. Yeah, there you go. Move to the next one. There's always a solution, you just gotta look for it. Next one, there you go. And then just shake the rest of that out on that one. Alrighty, we got these things prepped. We're gonna go ahead and get these things onto the smoker, which as I said, is already set at 375. I went ahead and threw the extra bacon on there. Let's go ahead and get these on. gonna be so darn good. There we go. All right, let's put these things to rest for a little while. All right, time for the steak crash. Okay, got them all on there. I'm gonna let these things sit and then I'm gonna flip them about uh, another 15 minutes or so, see if we got some good grill marks on them. We'll flip them and go from there. Been another 10 or so. Oh yeah. Once again, if you can smell this, you'd be so jealous right now. <laughs> okay, here we go. I know the potatoes are probably gonna take a little longer. Oh. We're going to go ahead and pull them burgers. They've been on there about uh, uh, 30 minutes or so. We've got friends and family hanging out, so I haven't been paying too close attention, but I'm going to keep the fries in there a little longer. We'll, uh, we'll get to this. Let's go ahead and check and see how one of these things looks on the inside. Oh. 
Would you just look at that? That is so good. Here we go. Mm. Grab a beer can, smash a burger, stuff it, cook it. You'll love it, I swear yes! to God. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.